Welcome. Thanks for coming by. Today we're going to do part two of my Thunder Nova 24 review. The things that we're going to cover today is the back of the machine on what it looks like and how well it's laid out, the exhaust fan that they provide, uh, the ease of installation, some tips on how you can handle your exhaust hose, comparison on noise levels between shop air and the factory air compressor that they provide. And then we'll talk a little bit about the cart that I built for this. One of the things that I struggled with when I was shopping for one of these things is uh, dimensions of what people did for carts so you could have an adequate work height. We'll cover all that today. Stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, back of this machine. So we'll start on the lower right hand corner of the laser. And you can see in this particular case you have the uh, alarm outlet that uh, this black wire goes directly and plugs right straight into the back of your chiller. And the uh, just a reminder, the chiller is provided in the price of the package. So you don't have to buy a chiller separately. It is a 5000 and not a 3000 So it's a good chiller. I run uh, jobs for several hours and have not had any problems whatsoever with keeping the the laser temperatures down. To the right of that you've got the air assist and then you've got your water flow outlets. Just to the left of that you've got an empty compartment that doesn't have anything in it. Water flow sensor there I believe. And you've got some more electronics. Then over here on the left hand side of the machine you got a nice heavy duty cord uh, and it also snaps into place so this isn't going to just fall out uh, if there's any kind of vibration on the machine it actually locks in place which I think is a great feature. Nice heavy cord going to the uh, 120 outlet then you have a place for your air compressor uh, I don't have that com uh, plugged in because I've got uh, shop air and then a place for your blower to be connected. Uh, take a look at the laser tube. You've got an access port right here coming down. One thing that I really like, look at the adjustment capabilities on the, on the uh, base of these labor, laser tubes. Really nice. Everything's all well kept. Grommets used everywhere. The other thing that was very attractive to me when I purchased this machine was a beam combiner. Um, a beam combiner is basically a red dot pointer that instead of it being mounted on the head of your laser, it's mounted right here and it, it, it basically goes through the same path as your laser beam does and uh, therefore you don't have any excess weight on your head and depending on uh, the height of your work, the point of aim doesn't change like it will on a uh, red pointer that's mounted on the head of the laser. Again, lots of great adjustment. No problem there. You got, sorry for the light, uh, lighting so poor in here in the back. Okay, so that's great. You notice that everything's uh, grounded and tied together, which is a great safety feature. Then to the hose. Uh, they provide you ample hose for, for most installations. One thing I will say, it only came with three pipe clamps instead of four. So I had one luckily, but that could catch somebody off guard. So you might have you might want to have one extra. These are six inch. Um, comes down here. Uh, one thing, the other thing that I was very happy with is the nice thing about this fan is this piece comes off, this piece comes off and this whole assembly comes out and what's nice about that is with this assembly coming out I've actually got this mounting plate in the back here that I can go ahead and mount to the wall and then reassemble this fan and it made it a piece of cake to get this fan installed wherever it's going to go in your installation. I really like that. The other thing is that um, with this fan having the ability to come apart it's very easily cleaned which is a nice feature and then it just comes up and outside. 
This fan's also very quiet and seems to do an adequate job in evacuating any of the smoke that I've had in my laser so far. One of the other things you've got to kind of be careful of when you're uh, getting the specifications of this machine is the Mini uh, Nova, which is a 40 watt machine, does not have this extension sticking off the back right hand side of the machine. If you get a 60 watt machine, you will have an additional 14 inches that stick out to the right hand side of the machine. So when you're measuring up things on where your laser is going to go, uh, be sure you include that because it, it sticks out there pretty good. Okay, so what I thought I'd do to give you guys an idea on kind of how uh, noisy this machine is. Right now the machine is on, uh, the chiller is on, the fan is running in the background to keep the electronics cool but the laser is not on. So I'm going to just be quiet here for a minute so you can see what the level is. So you can see that it's in the low 60s with uh, the machine just standing at idle. I'll go ahead and run a program with the uh, shop air on and then run a program with the um, compressor that Thunder provides. Okay, so the laser's fired up, it's running a program, I've got the shop air on, and this is how loud it is. So you can see it's pretty much in the mid to upper 70s with the fan going and the compressor uh, shop air connected to the, to the laser. Very enjoyable, not noisy in any way. Okay, this is with the uh, compressor that Thunder supplies um, and the machine running, the fan running, the chiller is not running. But you can see it's really only in the uh, low 80s. Still very uh, reasonable as far as complete sound is concerned. There you go, that way you know. Okay, so I thought I'd go over right quick what they include in their toolbox with the, with the laser. Let's check it out. So we've got some snap ring pliers. We've got a ruler with centimeter and millimeter markings on it. We've got some uh, Phillips head screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver. Four rare earth magnets to help you help uh, hold down your work. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, keys to remove your mirrors to do your mirror cleaning for maintenance. You've got a set of Allen wrenches here. Keys, lubricating oil. Here's your uh, gauge for your um, to measure your thickness. Actually, the thickness, uh, these focus at about six millimeter, and so this is six mil millimeters thick. So you can just slide this under the nozzle. If you're using manual focus, these machines also have auto focus, so it works great. Uh, USB stick that's got all the manuals along with RD Works, uh, materials library, all of it's right here. Nice touch. They also give you a, a couple of extra limit switches, which I thought was great. An extra nozzle with a larger opening, some cleaning costs, some cleaning solution for your lenses, an Ethernet cable, they also provide a USB cable, a replacement belt, 
They show you the uh, beam alignment with this piece of acrylic, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, nice little kit. The other thing that I thought I'd share with you is what I did for a cart. Nothing fancy here, but one of the things that once I decided to purchase this laser, I needed to determine, okay, now I've got to build a cart. I couldn't find a lot of information out there on dimensions and the height of the cart that you needed to provide an adequate work height. This particular cart is made out of just 4x4s and 2x4s. Nothing fancy. What I did is I built a cart that's um, 46 inches wide by 38 inches deep. And the reason why it's uh, about 6 to 7 inches deeper than the machine is you got to remember that your hose is coming out the back. And so you can't slam this up against the wall because you've got that hose coming out the back. So 38 inches seems to work out really well for a depth on this cart. 22 and a half inches deep, I put three inch wheels on it. Um, and that gives me a work height of about 37 inches. Um, so keep that in mind. The other thing I was concerned about is, am I going to have troubles with this being on wheels? I wasn't sure that the inertia of the laser going back and forth if it would you know, move this cart around at all. I can tell you if you buy good quality wheels with positive stops, you won't have any problems. This machine is so smooth that um, this cart doesn't move in any way. The good thing about it is now you have this 300 pound machine on wheels that when you need um, maintenance, the tube or whatever it is in the back of the machine it rolls around and it's real easy to uh, access and maintain. Well that does it for my Thunder Laser Nova 24 review. This machine is rock solid. I've created some beautiful stuff with it already. The customer support has been extraordinary and I would definitely do it again so far. I'm sure I'm going to do a follow-up review in six months or so to see how things are going. Good luck with uh, you researching the laser. Until next time, remember, like and subscribe. Have a great day. Well, that does it for my Thunder Nova 24 review. Well, that does it for my Well, that does it for the Laser Nova. <laughs> well, that does it for the Thunder Laser Nova 24 review. This machine is solid as a rock. I've created a lot of beautiful stuff with it already. The customer service has been great. And so I hope this series helps you out. If you have any questions, give me a call.